Hola, it's Dave, buenos noches, and really I speak better Hebrew than I do Hispanic, Spanish, excuse me, Hispanic, Jesus, what the fuck's wrong with me? Um, it's Friday night, and it is one of my favorite nights of the year, actually every four years, it's uh, the Olympic Wrestling uh, Tournament to see who's going to wrestle in the Olympics for the United States. And there's some just unbelievable matches. I mean, Jordan Burroughs just got knocked out. I mean, he's one of the greatest wrestlers I've ever seen in my life uh, by Jason Knopf. And I'm watching right now Colin Moore from Ohio State crap down his leg against some guy named Isaac Trumbull. And uh, I think the winner of that gets Kyle Snyder. So good luck with that. You're going to get your ass kicked pretty much. Um, there was a girl, um, <clears throat> and she didn't win. All this. She did win... Um, her second match, she wrestled my son in high school, and she was a freshman, he was a sophomore, and it was a 106 weight class, and uh, he weighed about 100, and she weighed 106, and he was like four inches taller than her, and I think he's the only one, there was a group of four, he's the only one to scored a point off of her, <laughs> he still got his ass kicked, she's phenomenal, uh, but there's just better wrestlers, I mean, the girls wrestling now is unbelievable, um, so, yeah, I'm watching that right now, and uh, it's been a really great night, great weekend so far. Some frick ridiculous wrestling. So tonight, I'm not just going to talk about wrestling, although if you love wrestling, good God, this is fantastic. It's on Peacock and on USA Network. Uh, it's the best of the best. It's the best in the world, uh, best in the United States, and some of these guys are the best in the world. Uh, Jason Nolf, who knocked off Burroughs, he's going to go up against Dake tomorrow, and uh, I have a feeling it's a best of three tomorrow. So I feel like he could take them. Uh, it'll be great, though. But tonight's brew, God Horrible, is called Taralta. Uh, obviously, you can see it says 100% agave, 40% alcohol. Uh, it's a cool bottle. And it's uh, from the great Felipe Camarina, who is just well-known in the tequila world. Uh, it's non 1579 obviously Tequilano, Weber, Jalisco in the Los Altos area. The region is Los Altos Southern, Stone Brick Ovens, uh, Tahona Extraction, Deep Well Water, Stainless Steel Tanks 100% Agave, Fermentation Without Fibers, I'm like repeating myself every time, but two times distilled, of course, Copper Pot, 40% alcohol, no additives, of course, uh, Agave, Earth, ooh, Earth. Gotta love Earth. Where's Wind and Fire? wonder what they're doing, if they're alive. Minerals, vegetal, those are the aromas, and the flavors, agave, earth, pepper, black pepper. Gotta love black pepper. Uh, this one gets an 89 <laughs> review. So it's... The funny thing is, is that <clears throat> I was watching a video about a bunch of other uh, tequilas, uh, really good ones, and one of the guys, one of the guys that commented, said, you guys gotta try Toralta, and I'm like, Okay, did some looking it up, found it at one of the Binnies, not one by me, but I found it at Binnies, and uh, tried it, and I'm, it just is freaking amazing, and so we're going to go through it, though, tonight. So I'm looking at some of the other tequilas at uh, NAM 1579, and uh, G4 is from 1579, it's also, obviously, Camarinas, uh, Volans, which is supposed to be ridiculous, is from 1579, um, Arte Nam is supposed to be very good. Um, Don Vicente, which I've heard a little bit about, uh, is also from there. So, of the five brands that are there, the averages are 87, 89, 88, 87, 88 on, uh, on Tequila Matchmaker. So, obviously, they're probably all Felipe uh, Camarena brands. Uh, they all probably get, you know, they all get great reviews. So... Uh, it looks like a, it's a plastic thing here. It looks like kind of a yeah, butt plug. For those of you who know what butt plug is. So, not that I know what one is because I've never done that. I swear to God. It's not my thing. Although, never mind. I'm not going to go there because that's disgusting. Now I don't want to get disgusting. And, oh, I got enough for one to two more. So, obviously, it's clear it's a Blanco. Um, I've had this before, obviously. Uh it's really good. Uh, <clears throat> really good. I mean, 
you know, I'd never heard of it before, and, and not a lot of people did reviews on it uh, until, you know, I, I started looking it up. Wow, Forrest Molinari's going to win. Didn't see that coming. Um, definitely smell the black pepper. Oh, it's sweet. Uh, citrusy. Yeah, you can smell the mineral. Really good. I mean, just great aromas. Uh, it's thirty nine ninety nine at Benny's. I mean, there are so many tequilas that are so much more expensive. I mean, seventy nine, whatever it is, and I'm sure they're fantastic. And maybe one of these days, somebody will give me a sip of one. But I'm not spending that kind of money. I just don't have that kind of money to spend. But to find something like this for thirty nine ninety nine is just lucky, good. Oh, the citrus is unbelievable. This is so unbelievable. Um, just smooth, black peppery, citrusy, sweet. Um, it's just a easy drinking, great tequila. I mean, just and this bottle's cool. I mean, check the bottle out. That's freaking cool. A little, little insignia there. It looks like uh, maybe an agave of some type of sort. I don't know. I don't know. Very cool though. Just a cool bottle. Um, I love the colors. Uh, this is great. Uh, I, I think pretty much anything that I'm going to be reviewing at this point, I'm going to probably say, hey, this is great and you're going to like it. Uh, if it's not, I'm going to tell you it's not. Uh, there are certain things that I, you know, like did a review on El Bandito and the, when I did the review, it was okay. I said I wouldn't spend thirty nine ninety nine on it, and then I had some last night, and it was freaking amazing. Now I got it for fifty percent off. I got it for nineteen ninety nine, but uh, I still would probably they're both the same price, and I'm Toralto is a much better tequila. It's just better, easier to drink, simpler, more to me more complex. Um, really, it could really. It's amazing to me how you can take back-to-back -back sips and taste some of the same things and taste some different things. Uh, this wasn't the citry that taste citrusy. Wow, that was hard to say. Uh, Kennedy Blaze from Illinois is wrestling. I know she transferred somewhere else, and oh my God, this woman is not, oh she's from California. Got you got to cheer for your <coughs> your Illinois wrestlers. Uh, she's. Kennedy Blades, God, she looks like she's twice the size of this girl. Um, she's really good, and I think she's going to win this. And she's got a nice behind, which is always nice to look at. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm just probably, after staring at my wife's butt, uh, I'm just, I'm a butt guy, so I'm going to tell you. Butt guy, to beer guy, and now a tequila guy who likes bourbon too and other things, but this is really good. Highly recommended. For thirty nine ninety nine, you cannot go wrong. And you know, it's right up there with G four and, and, and Lalo and, and Fortaleza. Um and uh it's the same price as Lalo and, and G four. Fortaleza is more expensive because it's just so much harder to find. I guess it used to be a lot l easier to find. Uh who else do we got? Uh oh, Gwiz is wrestling. The Gwiz. I got to meet the Gwiz, cool dude. Um, so there you go. Um, uh, Toralta Blanco. If you get a chance, uh, and you like a nice, easy, smooth, great tequila, this is highly recommended. It's fantastic. Uh, go out and get some, and go out and drink tequila, and don't drink and drive, you might spill. Seriously, don't drink and drive at all because it's stupid. You know, we've got, look at this, I'm grabbing the wrong goddamn string. Still haven't figured it out. Um, by the way, go back, guys. Um, you got Uber, you know. Go to a bar, have a great time. Spend the 10 to 15 bucks, go home, save yourself $2,000, $5,000, whatever it costs to get a DUI. Ain't worth it. Uh, it's just not worth it. 
back in my time, I'm going to say I drove and I shouldn't have driven. However, it was a different time. The cops weren't pulling you over. Uh, if they did, they'd say, hey, I'm going to follow you home. They don't do that anymore, and they're right for not doing it because you shouldn't drink and drive. I shouldn't have done that. I'm lucky I didn't get hurt myself or hurt somebody else. I have a friend who, I think he killed a kid, hurt a mom and, a, and another child. Uh, I don't think he ever drove again. And uh, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Especially today. Get a ride. Get a ride. Call a cab. Call the cops. Whatever you got to do. Bring a friend that doesn't drink. That's why I ha have my brother hang around me because he doesn't drink. Uh, but anyways, enough preaching. Enjoy. Live life to the fullest. Uh, take care of yourself. Stay in shape. I play football every Sunday. Um, go Bears. Go wrestling. What do we got here? Kenny Blades up 7 nothing. Told you she was going to win. That's it for me. Machaya, Mashugana. Salute. Arriva Durce. Adios. Buenas noches. And most important, please subscribe. And of course, even more important, besides Go Bears, Super Bowl. Toodles. This has been Dave. I'm out. See you next time. Toodles. Bye.